Sergio and I would like to now teach you some strategies that we've used with Sudoku puzzles. Uh, the first one I like to call missing two. It can also be missing three. So this is a Sudoku four puzzle. And what I would look at is I would look for rows, columns, or sections that are only missing two numbers. But first, it's hard for me to see where the sections are, so I'm going to draw in that line. And no, it's not because I'm old. So here we go. Now, if I look here, whoop, I'm only missing two numbers. I'm missing a one, two and a four. So do I know where the one and four go here? The one could go here, but the one could go here, and the four could go here, the four could go here, so I'm gonna skip it. Instead, I'm gonna look at this column here. I'm also missing a one and a four. Do I, the one could go here or here, but the four, the four can't go here because there's already a four there. So I know the four has to go here, and the one has to go there. And now look, I know I'm missing two here, a one, two, three. So I'm missing a two and a three, and look, there's already a three there, so the three can't go there. Do you know some, do you see something easy? Look at this row. I'm missing a one. I'm missing a two. Hmm. Back up to this again. Still don't know where the one and four go. Skip it. Don't guess. What about here? One, two. I'm missing a three and a four. There's that three. So it has to go three, four. And I'm missing a one and a two. There's that two. It has to go two, one. Isn't that crazy? The one I tried to solve first is actually the one I'm gonna do last. Totally cool. A one and a four. So that's the missing two, or you can do missing three. Either is fine. The next strategy I have, I like to call a lot of, because. <laughs> Sometimes you're not going to be missing only two or three. So a strategy I use, oh, let me erase it. You can kind of see through it. Da, 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 da. I have a lot of twos. So I'm going to go through and see if I can solve for the twos. And I'm going to go for each section. So I'm going to mark out my sections just because it's hard for me to see. There's a lot of twos. So can I finish the twos for this section? Two here. So the two has to go here because I can't have the twos there. The two has to go here. I remember this two in the last section. Two here. So the two has to go there. Now look, I'm only missing two. I could try my old strategy again. I'm missing a one and a four here, but I don't know where they go. I'm missing a one and a three. Ooh, the glare. Sorry, guys. I'm missing a one and a three here, and there's a three above it. It's very important if you're not sure that you guess, because you can't erase them, so make sure it has to go there. So now, one, two, three, four, and here I'm missing one. I won't finish out the puzzle, but you get it. And I have one more strategy. And I use these strategies on Sudoku 6s. I use them on Sudoku 9s. Now as they get harder, it's rare to have only two of, but as you saw, I went back to that later, didn't I? I was like, oh, now I'm only missing two in that section. I can solve it now. The last one I call counting up or counting down. 
Uh, it's really important when you're problem solving that you keep things organized and that you have a strategy. And I know um, typically as gay kids, we're either like super organized, we got it super together, color coded, you remember my room, or, you know, everything's up in the air and it's all over the place. So uh, make sure when you're doing these that you learn some strategies and one of them I use is counting up, counting down. So I'd start in a section or a row or a column, depending on whatever you want. You know I'm gonna draw my sections. And depending, I like to do sections. I don't know why, it's just, it's just who I am. But if you're a, a row person and you want to count by rows, maybe you're a column person, you want to go by columns, that's fine. So I'd start in a section and i go, okay, well, do I know where the one goes? So I'm going to count up. The one can't go here. Look, the one can't go there either. So the one has to go here. Then I'm going to go to the twos. Do I know where the two goes? No. Three. I know where that three has to go, has to go up in that corner, and now I know my two. And then I can go back to my other strategies. I'm only missing two, I'm only missing one. So those are some strategies I use. Now I am just sending out the easy packet first. And remember, you have to have somebody check them to make sure there's no erase marks on them. Three, and you can go to the next harder ones. I believe there are Snoopy Sixes in the ones I'm sending out. But I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. And uh, Sir Dunai, wish you luck this week, and I'll be in touch soon.